Welcome back to A Kentucky. Now, tonight we finally get to see the much anticipated ESPN documentary on John Calipari. So, earlier today, Lee Cruz talked with the man behind one and not done. Now, today we are joined by director Jonathan Hawk, who is uh, the guy who just finished the film, which is going to debut tonight on ESPN at nine. It's the one and not done, which, of course, is a story about Coach Calipari. And Jonathan is on the horn with us right now. Jonathan, good to see you, sir. Thanks. Happy to be here. Okay, Jonathan, let's start with uh, why you thought this would be a good idea. You know, I think Cal is the most compelling guy there is in college sports. And uh, a charismatic central character is all you need for a good film sometimes. And well, at least it's a good starting point, And that's what we did. There's a lot of conflict, as I know. Uh, there's, uh, there's some folks out there um, who don't like Cal. Uh, and I, we believe, as Kentucky fans, mainly due to his success. Uh, but, but there are things that happen along the way in his career that you guys touch upon. W was there any sort of illuminating moment that gave you insight as to how he operates and what drives this guy? The Dewan Wagner story that happened at Memphis when he had a kid that he decided to send to the NBA after one year, tore up his scholarship because he knew the kid would be a lottery pick. Then after one year in the NBA, Dewan got sick and his career was over and he realized he would have ended up with nothing if he hadn't sent him out early. So from that point forward, Cal said, you know what? Uh, I, I'm not going to be the guy who keeps a kid in college to, uh, for the good of the program and, and let him throw his future away uh, in case he gets hurt. So I think that was the moment when Cal became a player's first coach. And ever since then, he's figured out how to make it work. It's interesting, and I don't know that you guys talked about it uh, in the film or touched upon it, but this philosophy as to which he has, this player's first program, is, is being bought in by the fan base here at Kentucky, which if you would have told us this eight, nine years ago, nobody would have believed it. I mean, there was a lot of people that were outraged when he said one of the best days in Kentucky history was that first uh, draft that, you know, took away Wall and Cousins. So did you guys uh, talk about that a little bit and, and how that sort of philosophy is, is now part of the overall Kentucky experience? Yeah, I, I think Cal understands the reality of college basketball, which is that it's a money-making enterprise. It's a, it exists at the level it does uh, because it's making a lot of money for a lot of people, him included. And the kids are the ones who are sort of left out of that equation. And what they want to hear is that you relate to their situation. You know what it's like to be poor growing up, which he does. And you're going to help them make their dreams come true the way he's made his own dreams come true, the way others before him have come true. And so he's saying the things that the players these days need to hear. But the thing that he's doing at Kentucky, he's doing it in a way where he's maintaining the integrity of the basketball program. He is requiring of these kids everything they have to offer and then some. So the Kentucky fans, even if you know you only have Malik Monk for a year, you only have De'Aaron Fox for a year, you only have Isaac Humphreys for two years, you are going to get everything those kids have for that year. And you know what? In today's world, we may like that, we may not, but that's what it is. So we're going to have to make the best of it. And I think to their credit, Kentucky fans have moved towards Cal. And I think Cal has maintained the integrity of the program for them and given them something that they can believe in. And you know, that's what we really want as fans. We want to win, but we want to believe in the people we're rooting for. And in a commercial enterprise like big time college sports, it's not easy to maintain. And I think that's one of Cal's greatest accomplishments at Kentucky is that he has maintained that purity of, of the program. And uh, I think the fans recognize it. People know the truth and they know BS. And, and Cal's serving up a lot of truth these days. Everybody gets to see it tonight at uh, 9 o'clock on ESPN. Again, it's called One and Not Done. Jonathan, good luck with everything. Thanks for talking with us tonight. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. hope everyone enjoys it. You got it. That'll do it from here.
Senator, it back to you, Ben. I've seen part of this. It is very good. Comes on at nine o'clock tonight, and uh, I would check it out. You'll enjoy it. It's very good.